Hey everybody, uh, demo video number two for the John Petrucci Signature Mark II C Plus that we have been crazy over these last couple days. We just got this into the shop. Uh, just demonstrating some more of the capabilities. Uh, we explained in the last video, channels two and three are essentially the same. Uh, I just kind of want to show off the range of tones that these channels provide. Channel three I have dialed in here for like a low gain, uh, classic rock kind of rhythm thing. Uh, or like a blues rock sound. So what we got? The gain really low. Uh, master fairly low because we can't clip the mic here. Uh, we have the presence pulled out, presence cranked up pretty high, uh, which takes a little bit of the compression out of the amp and adds some dynamics. Uh, got the treble dialed low, the mids juiced pretty high, uh, and it sounds like this. <laughs> identical setup as far as the way the channel is designed we've just got it set totally different so uh, I don't have the gain boost pulled out actually we've got the gain cranked up a little bit higher though presence not boosted this time not pulled out unlike this channel these knobs are not set terribly differently trebles a little bit higher but we're using a heavier EQ and we've also got shred mode switched on so let's hear channel 2 this is our heavy tone that we've got set up here <laughs> Petrucci fans or metalheads like this is a great blues amp this is a great everything amp if you play like top 40 cover stuff it's a musical solution it is if you if you need a studio you know a, a studio amp that does tons of tones you're never going to run out of clean headroom live um, there is the full ca cab clone on the back of this do we want to show it off at the camera yeah by all means sure tip her forward you take the guitar from me no it's okay oh I see yeah you get back there let me see Three cabinet is. models, XLR out, ground lift, so you don't end up with some funny hums on your track. I've done a lot of recording with a cab clone, I really enjoy it. As have I, been using it in the studio a lot lately. Um, combined with the graphic EQs on these amps, there's a lot of tones available when you're recording, even direct. Um, one more thing I just want to show off is the tone difference between 60 watt mode and 90 watt mode. So now we've got it in 90, which is a little fuller, especially in the low mids. <laughs> Switch it down to 60. The amp sounds a little cleaner, but also uh, a little bit more scooped in the mid-range. And here's 90 again. How does that impact clean channel? Let's hear that. So here's clean, 90 watt mode. Middle pickup position on the guitar. 60 watt. It affects the clean channel a little bit less. I notice a bit more. The 90 watt sounds a little bit smoother. If you were to try to push it closer to clipping, if you wanted a little bit more bark, I assume the 60 watt mode would get you there a little bit sooner. Uh, let's hear it on the high gain channel. So we're in 60 right now. shaking his head behind the camera he agrees uh, but yeah we are still exploring this thing but we've already discovered lots uh, and the big surprise is just how good it is for a variety of musical styles this is not just a metal amp